Hi friends, let's see our next hacker tank problem which is min maxim. So the difficulty level for this problem is easy and the max score for this problem is 10 points. Okay. So first of all, let's go through the question clearly. So here a very basic hint in order to solve the hacker time problems is like, please never start with the answers or solutions directly. First of all, let's understand the question or the problem statement clearly. Once you are very clear with the problem statement or the question, then just identify the steps that how we are going to solve this particular problem and when all these steps are clear then we will start coding okay so my sincere advice is please make sure that you are not going to start the solution by not reading the problem thoroughly okay yeah so let's see the problem statement that what it is given and let's then we will identify what are all the steps that you need to take care while to in order to achieve this particular solution okay yeah so let's begin with the problem statement so here they have given that so they have given five positive integers so and we are supposed to find out the minimum and the maximum values that can be calculated by summing exactly four of five integers okay and then we need to print the respect to minimum and maximum values in a single line of the two space separated long integers so here the problem statement is very clear so it is that so they have given an array of length five okay of length 5 positive integers and that too the elements in the array are is going to be definitely the positive integers which is given the statement itself okay so here we are going to find out the minimum value and the maximum value okay so this is the problem statement that how we are going to achieve so here we need to understand few things like the length of the array is going to be 5 because they have given 5 and the next important point we need to consider is the elements inside the array is definitely it is going to be positive integers okay so these are the two important points we need to consider okay so now how we are going to achieve the problem so here they have given an example that means they have given an array of length 5 which which consisting of elements 1 3 5 7 and 9 okay so here we are supposed to find out the minimum value and the maximum value so how we are going to find out the minimum value so here they have given array but here they have given one more important thing is they have given all the integers in the ascending order so it is very much easy for us to find out the minimum and the maximum value so that the minimum value is going to be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 which gives the minimum value because definitely we are supposed to find we need to take four integers in order to get the minimum or the maximum value which is given in the statement so the minimum value is going to be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 and the, by excluding the maximum value which is 9 similarly we are going to get the maximum value by excluding the minimum value which is 1 in the given array and rest we are going to combine that means the maximum value will be occurring by taking the parameters 3 5 7 and 9 and the addition of these four integers is going to be 24 so here this is the problem now the question is here the array they have given in the ascending order okay so definitely we can find out that means uh, the minimum value can be done that means we can find out the minimum value by leaving the last element since they have already given the array in the ascending order and the maximum value can be achieved by that means by not taking the first value in the array so this can be done but in the real life how we are going to solve this particular problem so here these are the things they have given so finally we are going to find out so simply they have given an array and finally we are going to print the values the minimum value and the maximum value side by side okay so this is the case so how we are going to achieve so now let's deep dive into the problem solving for this one so as usual let me select the language as javascript yeah node.js and for the simplicity let's take the view as side by side view so that we can refer the problem statement parallel and we can solve the code okay so let's write the code here so here first of all let's see what the input they have given so just I am taking the console log of array okay and and I am running the code in order to see what input 
it was given earlier okay so the input they have given is one two three four five this is the array they have given as an input okay so the expect output is going to be 10 and 14 okay so this is the expected output now let's solve the problem so here as I told earlier suppose if the array is in ascending order then we can find out the minimum value by leaving the by taking the sum of all the integers and by leaving the highest number that means lost value in the array and similarly we can find out the maximum value by taking the sum of all the elements in the array except the first element in the array so in order to achieve so that is the way I am going that is my approach so to solve this problem see there are multiple ways to solve the for a particular problem so he, this is my approach and there are multiple approaches as well okay so you can try this video and you can try for the alternate approaches as well that is well appreciated so let's solve in this particular fashion okay so here the first and foremost what I'm going to do is like I'm going to give that means here they have given the array of elements in the ascending order but in some other cases or in some other test cases they may give the array of elements in the river that means some jumble order they may go definitely it is going to be positive integers there is there is no doubt at all because it is given the problem statement but they may give the elements in the jumbling order or some random order not in the ascending or not in the descending manner so in that case how we are going to solve so first of all the basic first and foremost step is let's take in first of all let's before starting that means before writing or before finding the minimum and the maximum value let's take the array in the ascending order so what I am going to do is I am going to use the sort method in order to take uh, take the given array in the ascending order so arrays dot sort okay so the, I am use, going to use the predefined JavaScript method over here in order to get the array in the ascending order. So it is a minus b. Okay. So this is the way you are going by. So by this way, you can suppose to find out that the array is going to be in the ascending order. Okay. Next, let me take the minimum value is zero initially, and the maximum value is going to be zero in the initial. Okay. Now. I am going to find out the minimum value and the maximum value. So how will you achieve that? Okay. As I told earlier, in order to find out the minimum value, I am going to negotiate. That means I am going to add all the elements right from the zero and by excluding the largest value. That means the last element. So how we are going to achieve that? So for let i is equals to zero, i is less than array dot length minus one so why I'm writing minus one is like because I'm going because I'm going to see in this case I'm going to add the elements one three five seven and definitely I'm going to negotiate the highest value so how you are going to know this is the highest value because already we have sorted the array so definitely the large element the last element is going to be the highest value element in the given array okay so by that way I'm going to negotiate the last value okay so basically the array dot length array length is going to be 5 so 5 minus 1 which is 4 and i is less than 4 that means they are going to take 3 elements so 3 elements is nothing but as you know the array index starts from 0 so 0 1 2 3 so I am going to add 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 so by this way I am going to get the minimum value okay so minimum plus is equals to array of i and similarly in the same fashion we are going to get the maximum value so how we are going to get the maximum value it is very simple the maximum value will be achieved by removing the but means by not adding the first element because the first element is going to be the very least value element in the given array so by excluding that one I need to sum of all the elements in the given array that means 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 so here I am taking that I am taking another variable say j so j is equals to 1 because as I told we are going to calculate the sum of elements starting from the first because we are going to negotiate the zeroth element which is 1 the minimum value in the given array so j is less than array dot length j plus plus okay so similarly the maximum value will be achieved max plus is equals to array of j okay now I am going to get the maximum value and the minimum value so the final step is okay we have almost done the problem 
and the last step is we are going to print the minimum value and the maximum value in the single line so how will we achieve that simply console.log minimum comma maximum okay so we are getting the minimum value and the maximum value finally we are going to print the maximum and the min minimum and the maximum values okay let's run the code Yeah, it's still processing yeah it passes the basic test cases so let's submit the code and see the result for the rest of the test cases yes it passes all the test cases yes all the test cases were passed and we have achieved the 10 points okay yeah thanks for watching We will continue with uh, more problems in the next session.